Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. <sighs> That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. I already took care of all this. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. That's it. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Doesn't look right. <laughs> the dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Agent Young held his clipboard up to the light. The equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. The local sheriff's station was a tight fit, but at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para-utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him. Closer this time, he turned hand on his holster. He called out to the darkness. This station has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Control. You're not authorized to be here. Suddenly, the lights flickered, went off. Young couldn't see a thing. Then from inside the station, the screams began. I 
can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. Scratch was pretending to be awake, manipulating me. What does he want from me? No, I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful, too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick, like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. Assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yaku was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect water in Bright Falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just the name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. is a gateway to the dark place.
What the hell is a para-utilitarian? said the cult kills taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a taken on the shore. Call the gang Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Ilmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the taken. We're on the same side. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. So the cult of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family. Me? The whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there.
Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. I need to know what information I can still trust. Wake told me the clicker would fix this, but Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. <laughs>